Yeah. 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 Y
Now, Pokemon is crap. Now, I played Pokemon for two minutes, and I'm like, oh god, this game is so bad. So I took it in the bin. Now, on the more serious issues, are you going to put out that fire in your house because it's disturbing on the neighbors? I am one of your neighbors, and while the fire is not that good, it's kind of spreading to my house, it's in my kitchen now, are you going to put it out? Because you better stop putting it out because it's going to... See, the thing about that is, I uh, got my book, so I don't need to have anything salvaged from the wreck. Um, my wife was in there, but yeah, I don't care too much about that. But I'm going to eventually put the fire out once she starts snagging me about putting the fire out. I'm like, bitch, I'm not going to do it just because you tell me to do it. I'm going to do it because I want to do it from my heart. And I don't really want to put that fire out right now. So what I'm going to do with the fire, I'm going to keep it burning on a low simmer and just see what happens and eventuates from that catastrophe. And then maybe we can move forward after that through the ashes and see... Uh, if I can salvage my marriage and salvage my house when it's burnt to a crisp, all right? So that's all I've got to say. Now, I don't agree with that because my house is flooded, you see. It's got a flood and I haven't fucking uh, cleaned it up yet. But, I mean, you can't have it like that. Flooding's way better, you see. I've got my wife, like, she's like, can't swim as well. But I don't really care because I think this is the best way to teach people how to swim when they're almost dead. Uh, because it's not like really, really deep, you know, it's, it's just deep enough to, you know, almost desperation, almost, you know, so you're almost dying, but you can't actually die. So, uh, unless, you know, uh, there's more rain, which I'm hoping not, the fucking forecast said no more rain, but you know, you can't trust that shit. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, and I've, I've got plenty of books in there, but they're all fucking wet and they're all gone. And, um, yeah, I mean, what do you need books for? I don't know. You need my book, mate. I heard about flooding, but you know, I haven't even thought about trying that before. Um, I don't know if you've heard of the cyclone that uh, also you can use to get rid of your house. Uh, well, I've I got a cyclone. Yeah, well, no. No cyclone. I can... Uh, but he, he makes a bigger mess than the cyclone. He does? Well, I don't know. I don't yes, agree with yes. that. I don't know if I, you can uh, make that as a pure statement. I think there's a lot of... Uh, little uh, variables in that and you can't just outright say that is a fact. Now, <laughs> I reckon that you uh, have to get on the fire because uh, the fire is more effective than the flooding. See, if you uh, were like me, you'd realise this and be smart because you've got a little bit of water in your house and that's going to take years, maybe months, to even do anything. Doing the fire. Now, the problem is, while all this talking is going on, my house is now burnt down because of the fire that you started in your own house, and I'm going to have to move next door. I'm going to have to move in with this guy. Well, I'm going to have to move in with you. Is that okay with you? It better be okay, because my wife needs somewhere to fucking stay, and her ass is now burnt. Well, the fires aren't really that interesting. I've just been sitting here and smelling my own farts for the last 15 minutes. They actually smell pretty good. But getting on back on track, Pokemon, Pokemon. No. <laughs> well, there I go again. I fired again. See, like you know, my glasses are cool. My tie is cool. My suit's cool. Even this background's cool, even though it sounds fucking stupid. But when I'm walking around and talking about Pokemon, I see floods and fires. And I just don't give a shit. So I didn't know why you invited me on this program, but. Here I am, so, yeah, lick a lollipop, and eat pajamas. Eat pajamas? Oh, that's not very, well, only if you've got the tasty pajamas. The tasty pajamas need to be inside a small box. You open the box, sometimes you get it from the candy store. If you come down, you get it from the candy store. The pajamas, the pajamas, you know that song? You know it? It's good! You should fucking have it! And well, the pajamas for breakfast. I know this one guy here. Pajamas for breakfast. He couldn't be bothered eating breakfast. He just said, "Fuck it! I'm just gonna eat, tear off my clothes and eat them." So I'm fucking hungry. I've been sleeping all night. That's what the guy said. And I was, I, was, I couldn't handle it, so I got my earring on my ear and I, and I stabbed him in the eye with my earring, and it was good because I taught him a lesson, an important lesson. Now, the, the, those lessons are not very wise lessons. What would you say about those life lessons? Uh, I think it's good lessons that you might teach to your class when you become a teacher. When you become a teacher, you better teach those kids well. The life lessons about, say, well, you think burning your own house well, is important. Class, see, 
I only teach a class of 500 uh, Chinese kids how to eat sandals. Uh, it's an interesting class that I made up because I felt like it was necessary. It was a class that was not often seen when I was looking at classes to eat sandals. They said they don't have them, so that's what I do sometimes on my nights off. Uh, I just go out there and there's nothing more rewarding than seeing those kids trying to eat one. Uh, and then I tell them, buddy, if you want to have my sandal one day, then that'd be fine. And then that kid, he was like crying, he was like, I'm so happy that you've uh, given me this opportunity that I want to actually kiss you on the face. And I said, mate, kiss me on the face, I'm going to shove that sandal up your dick. And then he said, I don't know about that, but if you want to do that, you could because I respect you so much as a teacher. No, no, that's not right at all. You can't get kids to eat it. Yeah, you can. You just get them to eat it on the ground, bend over, fucking open your mouth and eat that fucking sandal until you've got shoot lace in your fucking guts. That's how I fucking teach it. And you're going to argue against that and you're going to tell me I'm wrong. Well, I don't know who you are, but I don't think you've ever come to my class and I invite you there and you'd love it. You would eat sandals all night long and we'd party into the night. But I wouldn't invite you to my party because you're too fucking stupid. So anyway, you'd miss out. But it's just not a constructive use of sandals, you see. Now, I know that walking and walking around with sandals is, no, fuck that, that's shit. No one likes that. Well, what I got 500 Asian kids to do was some uh, sandal boarding. Which you get the biggest wave and you fucking ride that fucking sandal down it. And it's fucking... Well, did they have fun? Yes, 500 Asians. I don't think they had fun. Really, really. It, it, went, I it, went, the it Asian... went so fun and so good, we sunk a fucking submarine with it. And we've gone so fast, that was it. Battle class, fucking, that was it, gone. US, all that money, gone. Because I, uh... And that was it. So you only took one lesson as well. No, I quite disagree with the, those lessons. I mean, I mean, look. If you use the sandals to jump around and sandal around and, and surf around, I mean, that's, that's all very respectable. But eating them? Ugh. Well, yucky, 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 yucky. I, I don't think you should be choosing oh, the kids that. It on, a, on a plate, yeah, you put a bit of sauce on it, and then you fucking got your dinner. I mean, I'm just trying to save the world here one sandal at a time. But you, you guys naysay and you naysay, and you make me the bad guy. But all I'm trying to do is feed these kids what they need and without society's judgment. But you, you come in here with your glasses and you think you're better than me. You think it, just, just admit it. And I'll come in here as a stupid guest on your show. Ha ha, he's stupid. But no, I've got a life lesson for you, my friend. You have to eat sandals before I can even respect you as a human being. So that's the outright fact. Now what you're gonna to do tonight is you're gonna go up to your wife and your burnt down house and you're gonna salvage a sandal. You're gonna eat that sandal and you're gonna think, this it's actually pretty fucking good. And that guy on the show, he was fucking right and I was fucking wrong. And then when you do that, then you can give me a call and you can come to my class and you can come in and you can fucking sit with my Asian students and you can eat sandals all night. And that's how it's gonna be. And then this guy, he's coming here to talk to me about how I'm doing it wrong. Yes, but you are doing it wrong, you see. It's, it's just not even a matter of argument anymore. I mean, everyone's just gone to sleep. I mean, it's only me and you now. There's no one else. They've all gone. They've fucking gone home. And that's the problem, you see. We shouldn't be talking to each other. We need an audience. And no one's watching this. They're going to take this down because it's too boring. They don't want to hear about eating sandals or fucking riding sandals. We have to change the whole... Well, yeah, well your whole worldview is wrong. You see, I can tell because your silly fucking expressions and shit. It's just like, I mean, you're thinking about a class eating sandals. What you should be thinking about is where you want to eat next. Well, what I'm going to eat next is my restaurant down the street. And this restaurant, I know the waitress there, and she thinks I'm like a god. And so when I pay her like my $1 tip, she always sits on my lap. But anyway, my <laughs> wife's dead because of the fire, so it doesn't matter what I say now. But anyway, when tonight with the waitress, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually like go in there and I'm going to slap her ass and then I'm going to say, hey baby, how about it? And then that'll be enough for her to be like, hey, I'm going to give you a ride. But that's another story. That's just part of uh, what I do on the weekends. <laughs> and anyway, what I'm going to tell you, and this is like the last thing I'm going to tell you before I fucking lose my shit and start turning red and start skewing up blood 
and like eating fucking licorice. Yeah, but you can't do that at the same time. I tried it, you see. That's how my dad tried to die, but I wish he did. Now, one of the things I do respect you, I, I respect you not about the sandals, but I respect about everything else. You know, I don't have a. Yeah, yeah. I do have a framed picture of you on my wall, and before I go to bed, I look at it for like about 10 minutes, and then I fall asleep because it's probably the best picture I've got of you. I refer to everything else except for like forcing kids to eat sandals. Every other policy, I like it. I like you a lot, except eat sandals and little kids. That's not very good. That's not very good, fine. And like, I like that time we went to the fridge and you got like a little tiny bit of like cube of like food and ate it. Like that's the, probably the most favorite thing that you've ever done. And I respect you for it. I think you're good. I think you're fine. <laughs> It's working! Well, there was this time on the gramophone that I talked on the phone, and then everyone paid me out for talking on the phone. Well, I don't even know who I am anymore. I mean. <laughs> yeah, so yeah, I told the guy, I said, ah, fuck up your ass, mate. You ain't gonna get that policy food. Not if I have anything to do about it, you fucking little cunt. Why do you even suggest that? And then he cried and he lost his job and I was like, good. Because you're no fucking good. Anyway, what I come on this show for? You see, those people, they, they've got no brain. And that's the problem with some people. Like, they got no brain, they got no time or brain. And well, that's, that's really the issue, isn't it? I mean, that's the issue, and we should be turning fucking tables around at these people, because, because really, the, the tables should be turned. I totally fucking don't agree, because really these people are quite fine to, like, cook an egg and, you know, be around themselves, but I don't think we should, you know, necessarily be alive, necessarily, but they need to have some space. They need to know things. I mean, I know a lot of things as a bitch, as a bitch, I know plain. As a bitch, I know fucking how to toast my fucking ass and fire. And all well, the men respect a nice crispy ass when fucking it. Because the, the, all the fire these days makes us women really hot. Hot in a good way, not a burnt skin way. Burnt skin way is the best way. Well, yes, I agree with you with that year. That year was the best yeah. year I've ever heard. I, I like the year. I got a recording mm. of the year. Yeah, well, burnt skin does taste pretty good. I tried it yesterday myself. So, like, yeah, I sat there and I turned the gas on and I started smelling bacon. Good! Bacon is good, especially from humans. Like, I walked down the street the other day and this old lady came out of the woodwork and said, Hey, do you want to try some human bacon? And I'm like, Yeah, cool. <laughs> Is it better than French bacon or Spanish bacon? Is it? Yeah, it's, it's human bacon. I know you guys are looking at me weirdly, but fuck you, it's bacon. But, yeah, um, Pokemon, Pokemon number two said to me yesterday, how about that bacon? And I said, yeah, my glasses look pretty cool. So, yeah, I'm just going to stand here and talk, and no one's going to talk. So yeah, I like talking to myself and myself is cool and every, like, I'm running out of things to say, so... Look, that's a, that's a good point. I mean, the bacon <laughs> and the and the Pokemon, they go together. Once I... Well, I mean, my Pokemon actually asked me if I wanted a bath, but it was, you know... I think it was a human bath. It might have been a, an alien one, which they put, like, you know, all sorts of crap in it. They put a uh, fucking, uh, you know, that shit, and wishes to shush, shush, shush. And hit point source and you know all sorts of nat natural natural shit with you know it, it's all green it's rubbish anyway who cares about that the Pokemon I have it replaced my son a few years ago because you know he just kept failing you know and the Pokemon couldn't fail because he only had one word to say and that was it. it just kept saying it over and over again I was like that's great you have not stopped saying this fucking word over and over again so I just I was very happy with that. Where was my son? He fucking, you know, fucked everything up. He, where? That's a good point. That's a good point. I mean, my Pokemon replaced my grandfather. My grandfather was okay, but uh, my Pikachu was better than my grandfather. 
I mean, my grandfather did a lot for me. Yeah, but uh, what, you, what you're failing to realise is that I didn't choose my son. And, um, and that was kind of the problem. I didn't choose him, but I chose to throw him in the rubbish. So I always um, just cannot live that down. Uh, I've gone to therapy and counselling. I've, I've fucking like gone everywhere. I've, I've thought about it all day, every day, and all I can come up with is human bacon. So I've come to the same conclusion. That's a good point. I mean, the human bacon is better than the piggy bacon. I, I mean, I like the piggy bacon, but the piggy bacon is not that very good. Ah, the, the piggy bacon is is quite as good as the human. I mean, I've eaten my own ass a few times. I cooked it up. And also, I've sold a few, few of like bits of my own flesh as bacon, and while it's been passed off to many people, many people enjoy it. I've opened up my own woman shop, and it sells like bras made of woman bacon and all that kind of thing. And it, it gets it gets people good. It gets people encouraged, and that's what we need more encouragement for these people who. Well, what do you think? Will will take us to the future regarding bacon. I mean, I, I think what will take us to the future is a whole building made of bacon. I mean, a whole building, whole a statue, or maybe a Pokemon made of bacon. Uh, a p go pick pick a pick a pick go. Well, I've never actually tried Pikachu bacon. Like it tastes alright. Charizard bacon is even better. But I last night I sat there at the fire and just put my hand over it and it started to, to hurt but I was like this smells too good to take my hand off and I just sat it there and you know, like, got some marshmallows as well but the hand was still there it smelled really nice started to drip fat and you know I, I started to use that to get some onions going as well and <laughs> well, then I took off my glasses because like I, I didn't have to be cool anymore I just like, you know I didn't even have to wear a suit I just had to sit there, cook my arm, cook my marshmallows, and eat, and eat my onions. Like, what's life? But life's pretty good, you know. Oh, it, <laughs> it is. Yeah, so you should try one now. I invite you over Friday night. We should all cook our own. What the? Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hello! I'm still! Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I was okay. I mean, <laughs> what I did is I sucked the bacon right off his fingers and that was actually quite nice. I mean, I served it up with like, a can of, of soup and, like, with, and it was really good sucking that bacon off of his fingers, whole arm, with, with a nice onion. I recommend it. You recommend it. His tie recommends it. And also his tie takes a little bit like bacon too, I can tell. Anyway, bitchy. Uh, I want to know, I've got some questions for you. No, you don't have questions. I've got questions for you. Question one, fuck you. Question two, fuck you. Question three, fuck you. Question five, fuck you. Question six, fuck you. You say, as a woman, I'm allowed to say fuck you. That's, that's what we live for. That's what we know. That's what we can breathe about. I mean, I drive my car to the front of the fucking school and I say to the kids, fuck you. That's what I say. Every single day, and I haven't in trouble. Okay, well, at least if she hasn't got in trouble for it, otherwise I won't be able to sleep at night. Anyway, I want to know. What I want to know is how did you get this job? Because I mean, my friend tried for ages, and he just kept sending his shit in. And they kept ripping it up. See, so they'd rip it up and then fucking sprinkle it on his roof, and he'd pick it up and paste it back together, and he would send it in again over and over, and. And I just want to know, because he keeps bugging me about it. I mean, I just get woken up at four in the morning, kicks me in the fucking teeth and says, Oi, get on that guy when you go on the program and ask him. So I'm, I'm afraid I have to fucking ask you. Uh, oh, well, yeah, I'm like, yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I'll point my finger because that's cool these days. But, um, yeah, um, yeah, yeah, um, well, uh, Number two is, um, yeah, um, point to the sky and say hello, because the sky says hello every now and then, but nobody hears it. That's a strange thing. Um, um, yeah, um, the cameraman say hello, and, but, you know, uh, um, point my finger again and bang the table. All right, those are really good points, and I am going to review that 
footage over and over and over and over again before I go to bed because that was probably the most important thing I've ever heard in my life. And well, that's that. Oh, we've, we've still got some time left. This guy died unfortunately in jail. I mean, he was jailed for like possession of like pencil, and fortunately he actually died in jail because they forgot to feed him. <laughs> but that's okay. But I mean, what we will, what we do know is that I am going to build a bacon building, and you're all invited. And well, I've got frame pictures of myself and frame pictures of that other guy, which I'm going to go to bed with. Oh, actually, not quite. I'm going to go to bed with hopefully my wife, but that's another story. And anyway, we've got Pikachu Bacon uh, products, which you can buy at PikachuBaconProducts.com. And well, I hope you enjoyed the show. I hope I enjoyed the show, most importantly. And well, I'm going to wrap this up by saying fuck you to everyone here, especially me. I need the most fucking out of everyone, especially you, bitch. You're so fucking fucked up, I can't believe it. I mean, fucking hell, who the hell are you? No one knows who you even are. No, I don't even have a name. Well, I mean, my name is fucking bitch. Shit. I mean, I mean that, I mean that might be my name, but I'm really a principal of nothing. <laughs> that's the problem these days. All right, any last, any last thoughts? Fuck you, that's my last thought. I mean, go to the fucking school and say fuck you. That's what I said. That's what I know. That's who you know. Who do I know? No! Fuck! Fuck you. Well, I hope I never see you again. Look, the problem is that I just keep talking over you, and well, I don't have much to say, but hopefully I... Well, I mean, I've heard of that problem before. What you do is you go to the fucking um, GP, and he refers you to this program where they, they get you to step on these different pieces of paper, A4 usually first, and then A3. And um, what happens then is you, you feel sort of vibrations, and they have a machine like uh, that measures it, and... Yeah, uh, that's it. All right, the measurements are fine, but does, do they have pictures on these pieces of paper to make life choices? Is that one of these things? No, I think it's all like some sort of placebo effect, and it's all complete bullshit. But people believe it because of the big Facebook pages, like 50 million likes, and you know, it's endorsed by Zuckerberg and everyone. And then, yeah, that's what happened, and everyone thought it was really good. Oh, I thought it was really good as well. It changed my life totally. It wasn't a placebo effect at all. No, no, that's no. fine. That's fine. I used the placebo effect to wipe my ass personally. Um, I, you know, I stepped on it, I read it, I thought it was shit. So I just put it on the toilet, and next time I did a shit, I wiped my ass. It's as simple as that. Just like everyone, everyone here, and, and everyone not here, especially, I don't know, people that are staring at me like you. Um, I really don't know what to say. I'm just, I was just here and sat down and the camera went on me. <laughs> All right, well, at least the camera went on you. I mean, that's the good thing. You'll be remembered for someday. Some person will actually look at this and, well, they'll look at me and, well, they'll think, oh, God, this guy's pretty good. And, well, I, I think that's mighty fine. And I think, well, I think the bacon is now done so we can actually go and eat in the kitchen. <laughs> System is not okay. The system is dumb. The system was really dumb. Uh, dumb, dumb, dumb. <laughs> dumb, 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 dumb. <laughs> that was dumb. Placebo walking up the